<clears throat> All right. How's it going, guys? Um, I'm Adam, and I'm here with Tommy Smokes from Barstool Sports and, of course, Russell Hance. And today we're going to be debating and talking about what could be the most realistic Survivor Legend season. So it's not just a dream season. We're also going to talk about, you know, who realistically would be on uh, based off, you know, if they're interested, if we think that CBS would even want them back. Um, but before we dive into it, um, I was hoping you guys could each say what to you qualifies as a legend. So, Tommy, do you want to go first? What, what is a Survivor Legend to you? Yeah, I mean, I think it depends on what time. So if we're doing this, like sometimes when I think Survivor Legend, I just think of, you know, the 20 people, the ultimate dream season, winners, non-winners. I think to be a Survivor Legend, you have to be a memorable person that impacted the game, whether it be with your gameplay, whether you're just a legendary character that people remember. I think mm -hmm. the key to a type of season like this is you don't want 20 game bots, let's say, that are all strategic. You don't want 20 crazy characters. You want a good mix where I think for the most entertaining season, you have a mix of legendary strategic players and legendary mm -hmm. characters as well. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, um, I mean, you won't, you won't definitely want characters. Uh, mm -hmm. and then CBS has their own thing that they do where they, you know, they got people that they like, that they want to play, which I don't really agree with, as we've seen on Game Changers. And if you guys watch Big Brother, as we're seeing with Big Brother All-Stars, <laughs> it, you know, it just doesn't work. Uh, I would like for this list that we're about to talk about to be a legit list. And I just was talking before we went on live, uh, like real-time life stuff may affect that. People like, uh, you know, Richard Hatch that everybody knows is a legend. He's 100% a legend. I do not think he's going to be on Legends because his recent YouTube channel, he bashes Jeff Probst, Mark Burnett. I mean, you can't expect to. I mean, I can. I think that I can bash Tommy all day long and still be on Barstool. I'm, I'm just... I, I'm just saying, I still could be on the yeah, show. Our, our rules aren't as strict, our <laughs> guidelines, as Survivor, I think. <laughs> yeah. I probably could bash Dave Portno and still be on Barstool. That's the kind of uh, people he, there are. He, he's a little more important than me, but yeah, he, he can take a ribbon, too. Everybody at Barstool can can sort of take take the chins to the jaw or punches <laughs> to the jaw. He Maybe is, more than Jeff is, can. You should be able to, but sometimes you shouldn't do it. And people like Hatch... He's saying a lot of things. I mean, I'm not going to get into all that, but I want this to be a legit list that we think, okay, this is the cast or should be the cast. Yeah, for sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through uh, the seasons. Um, we are going to split this into two tribes of 20 people or two, two tribes of 10 people, um, you know, just like Survivor does. So 10 males, 10 females um, in total, five per each tribe. We're also going to split the tribes how we think Survivor might uh, do it themselves, which would be uh, one tribe being old school players and the other tribe being uh, new school players. Um, so, yeah, I guess we and we're also going to do uh, non winners because we just had winners at war. <laughs> so we're assuming, again, we wanted this to be a realistic uh, cast. And since we just had winners at war, we don't think. Uh, that many winners are going to be returning anytime soon. A lot of them either retired or in the case of like Adam and Wendell and Natalie have stated they're going to take uh, a really big break if they ever uh, were to return again. Um, yeah, I think that uh, I think that's exactly what they would do. Legends, mm -hmm. old school versus new school. They would put yeah. two together. We're using heroes versus villains as a cutoff point, probably. Right. Or sort of more. I would, I would think that that would be. That would definitely be the cutoff moment. Well, like you would be, Russell, technically old technically school old. to consider you a new school player. I am uh, I am technically old school, but I believe that I am the beginning of the new school. I think it right. all started with me. Uh, yeah. So if, he, he, if Jeff was to give me a call and say, hey, uh, do you want to be old school or new school? I'm like new school. Because I changed all that crap. I want yeah. all this. You, 
you'd have better success too with new school players than old school players. Yes. The old school <laughs> players do not want to play with me. Yeah. They, they hate me. Uh, it's that high morale. Oh, we're heroes. We he let's do this. We heroes yeah. type type gameplay, which I you know I follow with my alliance. I'm a I'm true to my alliance, but I want to play the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe we can consider Samoa the uh, the new school, the new school, the new school start. It could um, it could be twenty two because I was in season twenty. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, so starting off with. Uh, with Borneo, I think there's a lot of people from Borneo who at this point have considered themselves uh, retired. Obviously, Hatch was the winner. The only names for women that are popping up to me are like Sue Hawk, Jenna Lewis. Uh, you know, Khalid Haskell would be great, but I just think she's fallen off the face of the earth. Um, I don't know. Do you guys think Sue or Jenna Lewis, any chance they would come back? Go ahead, Tommy. I was going to say, realistically, if we're doing realistic, I don't think we're seeing anyone from this season. I mean, Richard mm-hmm. would be great. He's the first ever winner. Mm-hmm. Sue also, you know, the, the classic snake and the rat speech. You think of her early on. But, you mm-hmm. know, like we've said, for reasons with when Richard is bashing um, Jeff and CBS and Sue had the incident with him in All Stars, I think realistically nobody from that season would be on it. I, I think legitimately that Richard will not be – Sue will not be. I think Mm -hmm. she sued at one point, so that's out. Uh, Jenna Lewis, I think she's going to be. I've heard rumors. No spoilers. There's no spoilers. (laughs) Relax, guys. I'm just saying things that you hear through the grapevine, so (laughs) I don't know what CBS is going to do. I'm just saying I've heard rumors about Jenna, and I think they would want to go that deep, and if they did, she would be the one, in my opinion, that they could grab. Yeah, I think if they want to have a season one old school representation, she's probably most. I would love to see Greg <laughs> play again. I thought I thought he was a very entertaining character. I feel like that's not very likely though. We never hear about him at all. Yeah, yeah. Between the guys from that season, the only people I had on my potential list was Greg. Um, like you said, I just think he's kind of in that boat with Colleen kind of falling off maybe Jervis I know he came back for maybe blood versus water but um should we put Jen in the maybe the maybe category uh I I w- if I was gonna bet in Vegas which you guys know I do bet uh I would bet I would go all in on Jenna I would okay. go all in on Jenna me personally would say she's in the cast but I can see the thing is, Tommy, would you be upset if you seen her on the cast? No, but I also would – I think she would be probably the worst name on the cast, right? Like, I think she's going to be the least people are excited about. I mean, I know people like old school, but it's been 20 years, you know, I feel like nothing that memorable about her. Right. But I, think- I also feel like some, you do end up with a couple of those people yeah. on a cast like this. And I think that's because – of the recency bias of a lot of people that's super popular now, like for instance, Kelly Wentworth, people like that, that comes to mind that's just in a recency bias. Oh, we like her type season. We haven't seen Jenna in a while. Right. But I, I think that if, if I was going to be like, hey guys, this is the cast for me, I would have her on it. But I understand what you're saying and I get it. But I'm also thinking in a perspective of CBS and how they think. And I think that they would put her on the cast. All right, let's throw her on. Yeah, so excuse, I can put her. Excuse the coffin. I got a little of the corona trying to get rid of it. I hope, hope it can't spread over, over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I would be wearing my mask. <laughs> yes, we can. Yeah, we can wear my mask. We can throw yeah. Je- Jenna, down, uh, Jenna down in the maybes. Uh, if we move on to... If we move on to Australian Outback, obviously the two big names. I mean, Amber ended up winning. Uh, Elizabeth Hasselback, no, no chance. I think she joins. Um, she's stated she's been invited a bunch of times. Always said no. Tina won. The two big names I think of when I think of Australian Outback for legends would be uh, Jerry Manthe and Colby Donaldson. So, what do you, what do you guys think about those two, those two names? 
Yeah, I mean, two definite legends. Colby is like the first Captain America arc archetype, you know, challenge beast that we've seen replicated through the years. I feel like he was kind of a shell of himself in uh, Heroes vs. Villains. It was almost a little sad to see at the end. Sad. But if we're doing Survivor Legends, is Colby one of the 20 most legend or 10 most legendary male players in Survivor? He probably is. But I don't really need to see him play again. Yeah. I'm, <coughs> I'm not on the Kobe train, but I do understand if he's there. Um, I get it. But me personally, I don't want to see him play again. Uh, I just don't like the guy. I know he would be coming after me. I have a feeling I would be on this list. And people that's coming after me, I don't want to see him there. It's just, I don't know if that makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jerry, I think she's another one that we will see on a Legends cast. She deserves to be on a Legends cast. It's not like, for me, it's not like, oh, Jenna, uh, yeah, I get it. Jerry, yes, she's a legend. She deserves to be there, even though she'd probably come for me too. All of them coming for me. I just want to say hi. The first episode. I just want to say hi to you guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to stop by, say hi. I'll be going home in a little bit. That's the only reason I'd play, just to tell you guys hi again. Yeah, and I'll say also for something like this, a legend season, is I want people who I feel like I can see something new from, like a different story from them. Colby, I feel like we know his story. He's going to probably make it to the merge. He might win a couple challenges, and he's probably not going to win the game, and he's going to be on the jury. Like I like to see some, something where it's like this guy can or this girl can have a totally different game that we haven't seen from them before. Yeah. yeah. So you are you do you think that Jerry would she be on your list? Would Kobe be on your list? I'm a, yeah, I put them both on, on a maybe uh, list. Yes. Okay. Um as well. Yeah. The other potentials I could, <laughs> I could maybe maybe see from Australia are like Alicia Calloway, Kimmy Kappenberg. I know Kimmy returned for Cambodia was kind of a, a letdown. A any chance we see those guys, you think? Uh, no, I, mean, I was looking at Va Varner as a no, I assume, obviously. Yeah. After, uh, that. <laughs> I mean, well, they say he's a no, but if they did a villain season, why wouldn't he be asked? I mean, I get that everybody's so mad at him, but the dude plays the game like, like he does what it takes. He, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't care. He will call you out. He's that. You know, so in other words, he, you know, it doesn't matter. He does what it takes. And if we're like blurring the lines then with like real life villains and survivor villains, like you'd have like Brian Heideck back as, as a real villain. Obviously. You, can, you can also have like a uh, uh, scooping back as a, if you want, a real villain is the worst. <laughs> that it gets. If you want, if you want like a, a jail yard type survivor. Right. Uh, <laughs> No, but I think I think Colby and and Jerry would be the two from this season that I'd say are a mix of like most likely and and deserving. Yeah, I agree. Um, so moving on to Africa, um, I mean, has a lot of like fan favorites, like memorable guys. But realistically, if we're talking uh, legends, obviously Ethan won that season, so he's out, especially because he just returned. The three names for me that I'm thinking of with uh, legends is. T-Bird, Big Tom, and, and Lex. Um, any of those three stick out? I don't know. Big Tom is getting up there in age. Um, well, but I don't, I mean, I, yes, I think Big Tom would have, but you're right. He's, I don't think, uh, he's, he is a legend, but I don't think he would be asked back. T-Bird, same thing. I mean, she just played, right? No, she was up for the second chance voting. I think. Who did that? Who did that? The first out, let me see. I watched the season. I covered it. I forgot who that first out was. On Second Chance? No, on Winners at War. Oh. oh you might be thinking of Amber. No, second out. Skinny, skinny. She's like bones. Oh, Danny? Oh, Danny. Danny, Danny Boatwright. Danny Boatwright. I get them mixed up. Danny and T-Bird. Yeah. 
No, uh, I the only person here that interests me is Lex. Lex was like my first, okay. first ever favorite Survivor player. First person I ever remember rooting for. I think mm -hmm. he is a Survivor legend in in this, but I, he's the only one from this cast that that interests me. I think Lex is one hundred percent playing again. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. He's someone too, where it's like I would like to see how his how his game has evolved, you know, in the last 15, 20 years. Yeah, I well, think he, he would too. Because when he went back in All Stars, we seen what happened. He played with a uh, a kind of of a new school type player in Boston. Rob didn't ever change his game. Stayed aggressive. Does what he does. Tries to control things the entire mm -hmm. game. He played with that, and it bit him. So I think he would be a little bit more careful. I think he would play a good game, actually. Yeah, I do, too. Yep, for sure. Yeah, Tom, I, I was looking it up while you were talking. Tom is uh, 64, so not he wouldn't be the oldest, uh, you know. But, you know, Rudy came when he was in his early 70s, but Rudy was also, <laughs> you know, a yeah. very fit yeah. old man, uh, you know. Whereas Tom, I don't, I don't know if he's uh, quite in the same boat. Um, yeah, I, I have no interest in really seeing him play again. I feel like he'd be an early boot, not going to win. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Yeah, him. yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah. In I think he's yeah, a great for, guy. I think he's a great guy. I think uh, mm -hmm. I met him a few times. He's real nice, but I don't think people want to see that. There's too many other options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we're moving on to uh, Marquesas, obviously the winner was Vesepia and Boston Rob ended up uh, winning. It took him quite a few times to get to that point, but he did. Um, the uh, favorites I could think of from Marquesa, I mean, you got Sean Rector and John Carroll, maybe Nalia. The only one that I think potentially could stand out is maybe Kathy Vavrick O'Brien, especially if Lex would come back. It would kind of be cool to see that that pair again. Um but maybe not the strongest cast of, of legends. Yeah, I think this is a, a zero for like I, I I mean Rob obviously is one, so we're not counting him for this. Sean, it was another guy I really liked him, thought he was funny, but he's not coming back for a survivor legend season. Neither is John Carroll. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anyone from this cast that you could say fits the season we're going for here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Rob is done no matter what. I don't think he's coming back. I think we've lost Rob for legends. Mm -hmm. We've lost Sandra. We lost uh, Richard Hat. I mean, not Richard Hatch. Uh, Poverty. I think mm -hmm. those players are done. All of them are finished. I don't Ethan. think we want to see them play again. To tell you the truth. Well, what I keep thinking for those, like this is a different. This is more. We're this survival legend season. We're taken as what season 42, 43, something in that. Uh, I say. I wonder though. Five years from now, Survivor fifty. Say you know CBS says this is it. This is the last Survivor season ever. Yeah. We're rallying the twenty best players ever. I feel like Boston Rob's ego and some of these other guys' egos would have a hard time saying Did no. You see Boston that. Rob, did you see him this season, season forty? He looked like he needed a cane. Yeah, he w wasn't the same, but I still feel like it'd be. He just would have a hard time denying it. Same thing. He go Hey, uh, Tommy, can you can you hear yeah, Russell? Russell might be breaking up a little. Uh, are, we, are we losing Russell? Ru yeah, Russell might have might have froze. Damn, we were just getting going on Boston Rob too. You know that's always going to be entertaining. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're coming a little choppy. You might have to you might have to leave and come back, or I'm not sure, but. Um, you know, Th Thailand's our, our next season. I mean, Clay Jordan and Sheehan are maybe the two people I can think of, but um, I don't know. Do you think Thailand might be another zero? Or I think Thailand. I mean, I'd love to see Brian Heideck play again. I know he's a super, super shitty person, um, <laughs> but I would just like to see that used car salesman back at it. Um, and he's a guy we've only seen play once, so I'd, I'd like to see him okay. play again, but I don't think it's realistic. Am I back? Yeah, I think yeah. you're good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Heidek, he's not playing again, that's for sure. A lot of people would like to see him play again. I agree, he's a shitty person. Uh, if you want to know why we're saying that, just Google it. You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but back to Rob, 
Yeah, he's tough. <laughs> um, so season six, Amazon, obviously, uh, Jenna won that season. Uh, be cool to see her come back. And then she made that return in All Stars that was cut short because uh, her mom had um, cancer. So she returned. Uh, the big one from the Amazon, obviously, is going to be uh, Rob C. So, one, do you think uh, he would want to come back? And two, do you think the fans would? Like to come back? Is, he, is he a legend? Yeah, he's got to be a lock, right? I mean, I think for, you know, he was going to come back for, um, what's he, a Game Changers or something, right? And his wife was pregnant. Um, but I think Rob C is, is still a fan favorite. Obviously, he's super mm-hmm. involved in the Survivor community. I think he'd be uh, a no brainer to bring back, especially yeah. if we're doing no winners. Do you think that Rob would leave a multi million dollar company just like that and make it disappear? And go go play. I mean, they ain't gonna disappear, but uh, the risk of you know losing some sponsors and everything else. You're in that world, Tommy. You know what I'm talking about. Like he he makes a right. lot of money. So would he just leave for 50 days? You're talking about Rob as a podcast, like yeah. the brand. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I think he right. would just because you also got to think that getting back in the spotlight. Like while it's probably a short term hit, getting back in the survivor spotlight in the long run is gonna it's gonna help his brand especially if he makes a deep run he's gonna get even more followers you you know i'm sure you know he has other employees and stuff film uh fill in a little bit in the meantime he obviously wouldn't be able to back the season that he's on um but i think in the long term (laughs) you would have a hard time saying no right he's a legend he's gonna play again i mean i've i've been out there saying he he's not he's not a legend uh but if they did a legend season, I'd be okay if I seen Rob C play. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be like uh, some of the game changers when we seen that cast. A lot of people were like, "Who is that? And why?" Like, yeah. uh, I love B Smoke Cowboy. Uh, you know, he's my boy and all. But he was medevac and he was on Game Changers, so maybe he was medevac better than others. Were medev- His medevac was pretty impressive. It was a better medevac. It was someone else. Yes. So, so yeah. uh, Rob C, I'm okay with uh, seeing him on a legend season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe Rob was asked uh, a year or two ago in some red carpet, if he would return and he said it would only be if it was an all returnee season. So I'm assuming something like legends would, uh, you know, obviously fill that category. The only other person from Amazon I could maybe think is Heidi, but I know she turned down all stars and hasn't been invited back. So I'm assuming she's out. Um, yeah. Pearl Islands is next. Uh, obviously, Sandra won that season. Uh, some big names from Pearl Islands. You got Rupert. You got Fair Play, Savage, Lil, Burton. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Any of those big names you think might come back? Uh, I mean, I'm not a big. I'm not a Rupert fan. I feel like he's someone we don't need to see play again because, like I said, we've seen what his game's going to be every single time. I could mm-hmm. see uh, CBS loving him, and you know he is a legend in the sense of like he's a legendary Survivor character, the tie dye, the beard, and all that. But he's not mm-hmm. the one I'm personally interested in seeing playing again. <laughs> uh, Johnny Fairplay, I would like to see play again. I don't know if he would because if they think he quit Micronesia, but he's someone that's an entertaining character, and you kind of never know what he has up his sleeve. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think out that cast, I think that uh, Fairplay would be the one they would bring back. Uh, I, I could see Rupert being out there. Uh, I would, again, understand it, but that's another time to where it's like, okay, are you guys sick of seeing him? He did, you know, as soon as he got off Survivor, he did an amazing race. These, you know, they go from show to show. So uh, I'm not sure if uh, he would be accepted as someone else uh, in the new school era. Mm-hmm. Should we put Ripper down as a maybe or no chance? Oh, he has a chance. That's yeah, I'd put him maybe, probably. Okay. Um, yeah, I know Savage came back for um, Cambodia. Didn't didn't really have that great of a of a showing. I think Lil's kind of fallen out of the community. Um, I think a lot of people would like to see Burton come back, but maybe not in like a Legends type season uh, per se. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be maybe be another second chance season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, moving on to Vanuatu, obviously Chris won that season. Uh, you have 
Eliza, but I know she's kind of entered into this whole new political career realm. She might not have the time to to take out. You got Amy Cusack. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but Vano Law too. Somewhat of a forgotten season. Yeah. yeah nobody. I'm okay with Eliza, but there's no way she's uh, she may be the district attorney of New York pretty soon. So what? I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are you in New York, Tommy? Yeah, I live in New York. I got you. Right, I get you. You get, <laughs> call me. I got your back. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Palau comes next. Obviously, Tom won that season. Uh, I know fans would love to see Ian Rosenberger. He might be kind of in a similar boat as Burton, where maybe a Legends isn't the right place. Uh but you got Stephanie LaGrosa, you got uh, Bobby John. Um, what do you guys think? I actually just finished rewatching this season a, a few weeks ago. I've rewatched a few. Didn't remember a lot from it. I was never the biggest Tom fan. People like to hype him up as a winner. I know he was great in challenges. T to me, mm -hmm. I think he was kind of arrogant at times, not the best social player. Um, mm -hmm. For this season, I'd like to see Stephanie back. She, I, she was great, I think, in that season, uh, like first – really strong female challenge competitor, uh, you know, lasting to the last night with Bobby John. I think she is a survivor legend. Yeah. If, if they do, uh, when they do a legends, Stephanie will be there. So I, I can easily see that Tom, I think that he's done with survivor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Guatemala was next. Um, Danny was the winner of that season. The only person that pops in my mind is Rafe, and I just don't know if people even really remember Rafe at this point. Um, what do you think, Guatemala? It might be another pass or anything. I'm, I'm passing on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm passing <laughs> too. I, 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 he's not back as a legend, but I just always remember Judd being like, you guys are scumbags. That's, that's the one moment from that season that just always sticks in my brain. Uh -huh. but yeah. Nobody I'm taking for a legend season. Yeah, you got uh, Panama next. Panama had some some heavy hitters. Um, you got Terry Dietz. You got Sari. You got Shane Powers, uh, Dan Danielle. Um, potentially all four could even come back. Um, what do you guys think? Any of those guys? Um, I mean, I think Shane Powers is an interesting character for sure. I feel like he, you know, he can get on second chance, which was surprising. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's had some beef uh, with Jeff, which makes him not like us. I think he's a legend for a legend season. Mm -hmm. I think the only guy, oh, well, Suri, obviously. Uh, Suri is, I would say, a lock. I mean, I don't know if he wants to play again. But she's a lock in the sense of she is a true legend. She hasn't won. She fits all our criteria. Um, and maybe Terry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like Suri's a lock. She's playing. No questions. Jeff had it. He even said it out loud on one of the seasons that Suri's a legend. We all know that. If they do a legend season, she will 100% be there. Uh, Terry, uh, I'm not sold on Terry, even though I would personally like to see him play. Shane. Another outside the real world type uh, situation, him, you know, uh, taking down Jeff and Mark and all of them, uh, you know, uh, beating down everybody like like they do on the podcast. He has a podcast and that's what he does. Uh, I would personally like to see Shane play again. I want to see him play again. It'd be super interesting to see him to see how he would play with the new schools survivors yep. but uh mm. unfortunately because of the way he talks to jeff you know you just can't do that kind of thing i think he's out yeah he was on rob's show and said after i, I guess in his from his perspective cbs was really uh leading him on that he was kind of locked for cambodia and like um you know he kind of like quit his job and then really thought he was going to get it and then they took it away from him obviously he didn't make it. i don't i don't understand how he didn't make it like he, yeah that mm -hmm. crazy yeah uh I, on another note heroes versus villains i wasn't supposed to be there it was supposed mm -hmm. to be Kane. oh really yeah i thought you i always thought you took penner's spot no i heard it i heard it was shane's you would know better than me i, yeah, I thought i heard it that's you. what i was told so I, I thought I heard it. I thought I heard you say in a podcast once that because Pinner, he's easy. I mean, Pinner's a 
he's not Shane is a villain. They need a big villain. Uh, before kind I played, of more of a wise ass. Yeah. Before I played, they were saying uh, that nobody from season 19 is playing season 20. Nobody. And then when I did what I did, they were like, okay, except for him. Yeah, can make an exception. Why you say wise ass? Isn't that your isn't that your style? Yeah, I, I'd consider myself a, a wise <laughs> a tenor, Rob, maybe Rob C. See, style. I've, I've seen a few videos, man, not too long ago. You like to sport the fedoras every once in a while. Yeah, like yeah I, I wear for one of our shows, Barstool Sports Advisors. Yes, uh, I always rock rock the. Fedora I like the coat. The I like the coat. I need. It's a good, I like, it's a good style. I might try that coat thing, but yes, that could be my survivor outfit if I get cast. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of uh, speaking of Penner, the next season we have is Cook Islands. Uh, you know, I would never have thought Penner would want to return, but on our ALS uh, fundraiser, um, if I remember correctly, I remember him saying he would uh, he would definitely take the call if he came back. Um, would he? Would he take it like right now? Because I know his wife is really sick at this point. Mm -hmm. So I don't see Penner take doing it like at this point in time. Right. Uh, I know he's taking care of his wife, uh, which is a lot of work and it's admirable for sure. Mm. Uh, you know, I respect him more, more now than I've ever had. So uh, I like to see Penner out there. I just don't know if it happens so soon, if they yeah. would even ask because mm. of the situation. Yeah. I'd say it's, Sort of, yeah, I'd like to see it, but probably not likely given the outside circumstances. Yeah, obviously. Uh, also for the cast, I would say, uh, I mean, I feel like because obviously you will have been back and won, Paul has been back and won. I think the only other name, I mean, Ozzy is like the obvious one, but like has Ozzy played enough? Uh, yeah, that's questionable, but if they had Ozzy, I could see. I could see him as a legend if he was there. He's definitely a legend in the sense of, you know, when you think Survivor, he's probably one of the guys you think of. He's probably the big, maybe the biggest challenge beast ever. But he's also somebody where it's like, I don't really need to see Ozzy play again. I, I kind of know that he's going to make the merge. He's going to win some immunities and nobody's going to take him to the end. I'm eating cough drops, by the way, if y'all wonder, like a candy. <laughs> it, helps, it helps the Rona. Just letting you guys know if you get it, drink bleach, cough drops. No, don't. That's a joke. Don't be drinking bleach. Just a don't joke. Don't that up. It's just the cough drops. All right. Um, okay. You also have Candace from Cook Islands. I know uh, she's surprisingly played three times. Have crazy. you seen enough of her? Crazy she's played three times. Just so boring. <laughs> but Sarah's, it, Sarah's just as boring. I yeah, mean, but Sarah at least has, has won. Yeah, but she's not. She's just. Uh, it's like, how has this girl played three times? She she plays a good game. She she does. Uh, she does an amazing job. Her pregame alliances are stellar, but uh, she just. I think we're losing you again, Russell. Lost me again. Yeah, you might you might you might have froze again on us. Um, nah. but while we're waiting, uh, for him to come back, Fiji, I mean, you got Yao Man and Dreams potentially, but, um, I feel like Yao Man might be up there in age and I think Dreams might, uh, might not qualify as, you know, has very memorable moments, uh, the whole, you know, giving up the car, not giving up the car, but, uh, might not qualify as a legend. I don't know. What do you think? I loved Dreams during a season. I remember rooting mm -hmm. for him. Um, Earl, I'd obviously like to see back. He wouldn't come back since. I mean, if they're going to bring any winners on this season, I think I feel like Earl is somebody they'd bring back since we haven't seen him uh, mm -hmm. since this season. But if we're going by non-winners, I I don't think we'd see anyone. Maybe Al Man, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Am I there? Am I here? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yao Man is uh, definitely memorable. Um, I would like to see Yao Man play again. I'm not so sure if he's a legend. Dreams, again. I love Dreams on that season. Uh, Boo from that season, not yeah. a legend, but 
I'd like to see Boo play again, to tell you the truth, if they did like a second chance. I think there's a lot of people that if they did another fan vote second chance type season, that mm -hmm. could make a really interesting season. And that yeah. cast has a lot of that to where, yeah, we'd like to see him play again. But, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, China, um, obviously, Todd won the season, had a lot of, uh, you know, bigger characters. Uh, the first one that pops in my head is, is James. Russell, I know you know James. Any, any chance he ever plays again? James would 100% play again. I haven't talked to James in like five years. But uh, but he, we played Heroes versus Villains. I think James would absolutely play again. And if they did a legend season, I don't see them not asking James. I, I, he's a two, He's the only other two-time fan favorite. I don't know if people remember how popular <laughs> James really was when he played. Mm -hmm. So uh, it would be a, being out there with James again. I'd love to play with him if, I, if he was on a legend season and I had happened to make the cast. It would be fun to watch him play. Yeah, I love James. Likeable guy, good in challenges. Legendary also for one of the more legendary survivor blunders ever with going home with two immunity idols in his pocket. That sort of adds to his legacy, although he probably – one doesn't want it to. Two of um, these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd put James in. Um, I mean, Amanda to me is is a legend. You know, she's one of the most <coughs> notorious female players, especially to have not won. Um, I feel like she could come back. I feel like she's somebody who would have a chance to win also in another season. Um, and then, I mean, like Courtney for a personality, but she's not like a legendary player. Yeah. I agree. I mean, uh, Amanda and Courtney, both of them, that cast had a lot of great players, you know, uh, great characters too. great characters, not players, but even like token chains and stuff like cast like that, like yeah. really cool players, uh, characters that you'd like to see play again, but, mm -hmm. uh, definitely Amanda. She's a great player. Uh, you want to get some spice in there. You definitely put Courtney. I could see them both on legend seasons. Mm -hmm. all yeah, you got if legend season happened you're gonna see all three of them <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah you got a pg as well but i know she came out for cambodia didn't have the best uh showing um got into a nice feud with abby maria that was entertaining but other than that um not much there for her um micronesia i mean you got eric reichenbach i don't know if he would want to come no. back no. I don't think he had fun out there in Caramo. No, I and you got to see him again. Yeah, I know. A lot of people seem to, uh, all of a sudden, there's been this kind of rise in popularity for Natalie Bolton. Um, I think that might kind of fall more under, more under like the second chance category yeah. as opposed to Legends. Um, she would be one of the ones, if she made it, that you'd be like, why? You know, there's, yeah. there's so many other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want it, if they do a Legend season, even if I'm not out there, I want it to be like, okay, I'm okay with this. I have yeah. I never ever said that, you know, mm -hmm. even with the big brother, the all-stars, it's not like, yes, a few, uh, game changer survivor. It's ridiculous. Like, that was such a joke. it was laughable. And the problem with game changers, not just was the cast, but all, you know, the six or seven entertaining people you wanted to see were voted out yeah. in merch. So, right. you know, you want to sort of stack the deck where it doesn't matter who gets voted out when, you're still going to have an entertaining season. Right. Yeah. Well, that's why they did Winners at War. They That's why they did what they did and put them on, on this island and so you could still see them play because the cast wasn't filled with entertainment. I was going to say, yeah, even some of the winners were right. lost. Yeah, that's how it was. So they wanted to make sure just in case they sucked over there – we can bring it over here, you know. Um, mm -hmm. If they did a legend season, there. Even though I would like, I, I hate the concept. But if I was actually on the island, I want the concept because I want to have an opportunity to get back in the game. Uh, but if they did a legend season, they're not going to have to do none of that because the personalities alone, they're they'll carry the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see uh, Gabon is up next. Um, I know Maddie has said he wouldn't come back. Uh, Randy Bailey has said he wouldn't come back. He would. Uh, then you got 
He would. Think Randy, they don't. They wouldn't ask him. Randy got in trouble and headed somewhere and got lost doing drugs during Ponderosa. <laughs> we, okay, where, no, no, Randy. Randy. Where's Randy? I don't know where Randy is. <laughs> um, we got Sugar, Corinne, Kenny. Any of those popping out for you guys? I think Corinne. Corinne, maybe. She was just such a bitch to sugar <laughs> like people like that's my big like that final jury speech and then she was okay when she came back for um Cara Moen. Mm -hmm. i can maybe see her playing she, i i wouldn't roll my eyes if i saw her back yeah I, I wouldn't either i i would actually like to see corinne out there uh if it was old school corinne where she was like daggers um uh, that that cast actually that's one of my favorite seasons gabon but uh when you say it in the concept of are these people <clears throat> legends corinne is maybe the only one on that cast that could that anybody would be okay with i mean um uh, what's his name that won this season uh bob. bob bob didn't even get cast for when is it warren he wanted to play mm -hmm. yeah no so, um kenny no we don't want kenny because kenny turned down our show in the top 100 so <laughs> kenny is dead to us <laughs> yeah um all right then uh token sheen is our last old school uh one you know a lot of big names but a lot of them or i guess two of them went on to win obviously tyson won jt won uh the only two other than that you got is coach and fishback um what do you think about those two I think, uh, I mean, I, I, I like both of them. I think if we're doing a legend season, you're probably more likely to see Coach, I think, for the entertainment factor of Keith Coach. I mean, he's one of the, maybe the most unique character in the history of the show. He's another guy where it's like, I don't think Coach can win. If he couldn't win South Pacific, I don't think he can ever win. But mm -hmm. I'll never say no to being entertained by Coach. Yeah, yeah. Uh that, that's it. That's all that's on that cast. Um, Coach is 100% going to play again. He is the most entertaining character to ever play the game. Nobody even comes close. Even King Russell. You know, it was like a dragon slayer that you felt was a real dragon slayer. Like, you wasn't sure in your mind this guy may be yeah, convinced. Him. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, mm -hmm. Coach. All right. So for moving to new school, um, obviously uh, we got one person right here with us today. We can go ahead and throw under uh, <laughs> under that boat. Um, Me? I haven't played yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got heroes and villains. Obviously, it's all returnees, so we can skip over that one. Uh, Guatemala. I mean, Brenda and Holly. Um, no. Maybe Brenda. Uh, move on. Well, not no. close, man. Brenda, yeah. Brenda's that girl is probably the most beautiful person to ever play the game. <laughs> but yeah. if had a pretty season, yes. But no, she's not gonna be there. Who yeah. next? Uh she? Redemption Islands, of course, you could always bring back Francesca for a third time, but I, I don't know, know if fans would uh quite agree with that. that I mean, well, but what if they I mean if they did, Tommy, if they did, would you be like <laughs> would you be like in the world that you're in and production stance and all that, would you be like, I get it. I didn't want to see it, but okay. It's funny. <laughs> I mean, for a legend season, I, it would be funny to be like the legend <laughs> only voted out first, but what legend, I don't know. I, I don't. What, is legend, what does the word legend mean? I mean, two right, times that's what, that's what, twice that is first. Legendary. <laughs> does that make her a legend? It's like legendarily <laughs> bad. I don't know if that makes her a legend. I think right. the survivors had five, six hundred people play throughout the years. She got her second shot. I don't need. I wouldn't not watch the season, but I think you could probably find ten more compelling females. <coughs> and I think Andrea is one of them. Yeah, I don't like Andrea. To tell you the truth, I don't think she's a legend. I think she's one of the ones they try to push in her face. For some reason, I just don't. I don't see her as a good same player every time, and I just don't see her uh, 
as a legend at all. Blonde hair, cute girl. Come on. There's a lot of them. Let's move that on. helps, though. If, they, if you know, they always like having some eye candy on a season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other, uh, the other Redemption Island potential is, of course, you got Philip. I know he said he would never come back. Um, should we consider him a him a no? Uh, if he said he wouldn't come back, then no. I mean, he's he'll never win. He can be yeah. somewhat entertaining. I think a lot of people hate him. Um, <laughs> I, I I don't I I think there's enough <laughs> strong male characters where you don't need to go to him. For me, yeah. uh, I think that Philip, they would ask him uh, whether he come back or not. I don't know. Uh, I like to see him play again. If they ask him, you can't tell me he's not going to say yes. But oh, he definitely would say yes. Yeah. So all right, I'll put him as a maybe there. Yeah. Um, if we're going South Pacific, of course you have uh, your nephew and maybe Don. I don't know. What do you what do you think of those two? Who? Don. Don and your nephew. Don. Don. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, I think probably from this season. I mean, Ozzy's on this season. We already listed him. I don't think we'd see anyone else. Don is. I hated Don. <laughs> I hated <laughs> Don. When she, there's also such a funny clip which i feel like goes under the radar i can't find it anywhere in season 26 she's yelling about something she's like it makes me so angry i just want to spit and it's just the way she says it is so it's such a funny scene that i never see anyone talk about <laughs> yeah. but no i i don't i don't think anyone from this season would would probably yeah, be that. Uh, brandon's not playing again uh and dawn no nobody yeah. Sabrina has been thrown out as like an under the radar for a second chance or she was on the second chance ballot i think Mm -hmm. But no, she's definitely not a legend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then, yeah, One World. I mean, I think we can throw Colton as a, as a good no. Oh, Sabrina um, was one. Sorry, I was looking for the wrong list. Um, Monica, you know, came back and played again. Cat uh, played again. I know Troy Zan played again, but Troy Zan's kind of had this following start ever since Game Changers where he's kind of become like a pretty popular character over the last – Somebody's already tweeted my quote. Russell says Brenda Lowe was the hottest player ever. <laughs> yes. Maybe it'll get to Brenda. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I was saying uh, um, Troy Zan, maybe. Monica. I, I, for me, I, I'm an offer on this season. There, uh, This is the dark ages of Survivor to me. Um, yeah. Nobody from, from it interests me. Yeah, no. I mean, I like Troy Zan. He's my boy. Uh, but legend, that's mm -hmm. – that's yeah, he was, not, what, 100 on the list? Troy Zan, that was somebody else's fault. But, yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. Um, Philippines, <laughs> obviously the big name. I mean, Denise is a winner. Um, the two big names, I think, for Philippines are going to be Malcolm and uh, Abby Maria. Um uh, what do you guys? What do you guys think about Malcolm and Abby potentially? I feel like Malcolm is a lock. Um, he's someone that would play again. I'm sure they'd ask him. One of the biggest fan favorites ever. Good player. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I think could. I mean, it's tough because he'd have such a big target on his back. But I think he has the tools to put it all together for a great game. Mm -hmm. um, Abby Maria. I mean, that just depends on. If you want to cast someone for entertainment, then yeah, you get Abby Murray. I, she's not going to win. Uh, you, you pretty much know what you're going to get from her. I put her in the maybe category, but yeah, Malcolm is the biggest lock. Yeah, Malcolm's definitely someone they would ask whether he'd play or not. Uh, I think he just got married. Didn't he just get married? Or was that Joe? That was Joe. Joe. I get, I get those two mixed up because you can only have one of them, though. See, I, I, I think that's unfair to Malcolm. Joe, to me, was... Just pretty boy, good at challenges, nothing really to him. I think Malcolm was a, is a smart player, and he's more social and strategic. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Malcolm, yeah. I could see him out there. Um, Kara Moen was half people we've already mentioned. I mean, I know Caleb Reynolds. A lot of people want to see him come back, um, but I don't think really? Legends might be the season for Caleb. Um, Blood versus Water. Um, you know, you got Brad Culpepper. I, I, don't, I don't think Vetus would come back. Um, of course, you got to throw Hayden as a maybe, but um, Hayden has said he would never play Survivor again. Oh. Um, 
So the only two names I can think of from the season are maybe Brad Culpepper and Sierra Easton. Um, what do you guys think? Well, I don't know. Go ahead, Tommy. I mean, I don't need to see Brad play again. Uh, Sierra, maybe. Um, I, I I still think her voting out her mom is the most overhyped move in history. Her mom was getting voted out anyway. Um, but I they see Jeff and CBS seem to like her. Uh, so I, I I definitely would I could see it happening. She's definitely a baby for me. I think that. Uh, she's more likely to play again because of that a very hyped up move, like you said, Tommy, but nonetheless, perception is everything. And CBS likes her. Uh, she voted out her mom. Uh, that's the caption. Right. Regardless of if she was going home or not. So uh, yes, I think she would be on a legendary st uh, status. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Kagayan, of course, Tony was the winner of that season and winners at war. Um, but we're just doing non-winners. Um, Tasha and Wu came back for Cambodia. Didn't really. I know Tasha made it to the end, but kind of was forgotten a bit during that season. The two big names from Kagayan that you have are Spencer and Chaos Cast. I think they both come back and play. I think they both be asked to come back. What do you guys think about Cass and Spencer? I'd love to see them both back. I feel like Spencer uh, Spencer apparently has wavered where at first he's like, I'm not playing again. Then I've heard that he would play again. I, I'd like to see Spencer back. Um, and Cass is, I mean, she's the greatest female villain, arguably, you know, definitely one of the better female villains ever. So I, I'd like to see them both back. Yeah, uh, Cass is one of the most underrated female players in the history of the show. I think that she is super strategic. Uh, she gets a more rap for being... Uh, like she even says, the bitch, which I don't think that's the case. I think she's just a very <clears throat> solid strategic player that I would love to see play. Again. I don't want to play against her. Right? Don't get me wrong. I don't want to play I with her. You two, you two button heads. Yes. And I think <laughs> that would happen for sure. Uh, but she's an amazing, to me, she's an amazing player. Spencer, another very smart player. I could see them both on the cast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but San Juan though, sir, obviously Natalie won the season. Uh, we're just doing non winners. Keith now came back for Cambodia, but I know a lot of people would love to see Keith come back and play. Of course, the big name from uh, San Juan though, sir, is going to be uh, Kelly Wentworth. Um, you know, you got Jacqueline Schultz, maybe. What do you guys think? Put Wentworth in the maybes for sure with her um Cambodia performance. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacqueline Scholes, no, I don't need to see her play again. Um, yeah. I, need. John Mish is not a legend. He's somebody I'd like to see on a second chance season. I know they said he just didn't answer his phone or something. Keith, I mean, Keith's a great character. It, but Keith, again, he's somebody, am I going to see a different Keith, a different game? No. Keith, we yeah. know what we're getting with Keith. Right. So if, if Survivor or CBS wants a, a lighthearted – humor aspect out there i could see him but i you know i think from a strategic perspective we we've seen all of keith now yeah mm -hmm. i i mean i'll be okay if i seen him out there um he, but you know he's just a funny guy speaks what on what's on his mind a lot of people respect that so i'd be okay with that kelly uh absolutely i would like to see uh kelly play again uh instead of if you're gonna tell me andrea or kelly just please put Kelly out there. Just please do that. So yeah, we, I, I'd agree with that. So do we you think can, Kelly would. I think she would. I mean, she's a solid game player. So she, we've seen her performance when she actually is able to play the game. Uh, so I'm okay with Kelly. Keith, you know, not so much. I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with Keith, but we're not going to see Keith. Okay. Um, so then moving on to Worlds Apart, you got a lot of maybes, um, Rodney, Mama C, you got Haley Ford, um, Sierra Don Thomas Anglum, I guess her name would be now, uh, Joe. Um, a lot of guys I think people would like to see back, maybe not legends <laughs> necessarily. Maybe you consider Rodney a legend or Joe a legend in the challenge category. Um, I don't know. What are you guys, what are you guys thinking for this, this season? 
probably my least favorite cast of Survivor ever. Just thought it was a very <laughs> unlikable bunch. Um, I don't really... I'd like to see Rodney play again. Apparently, he's been right. controversial lately. He's definitely not a legend. Um, right. If we're talking legend season, I could see them wanting to put Joe back. But on my personal list, I don't want to see Joe play again. Yeah. I mean, I get what you're saying, and I, I can hear it uh, with that cast. Uh, I don't think Joe is going to beat Malcolm out for that legend spot. And those are the yeah. two they're going to choose from. And then um, Rodney, just like you're saying... I'd like to see Rodney play again, but not on a legend season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You got a uh, Cambodia was obviously all returnees. Um, Cal wrong. Um, got Sydney, uh, potentially Debbie Werner, um, Ty Aubrey, um, some potentials, potentials there, I think. And Aubrey's yeah. played twice or three times. Uh, yeah. I think Ty and Aubrey stand out. I'm. I don't. I think Aubrey is a little overrated. I think her game is a little overrated. I uh, don't. I, I could see her coming back. I don't need to see her back. Ty is an entertaining character. He's kind of a weird player. Is he good? Is he not? I don't know. Um, I'd put them both in the maybe, but we have seen them both multiple times recently. So I, I I'd rather see older school people we haven't seen in a while. I don't think we're gonna see either of them. I think that they're gonna pass on them. Okay. Um, obviously, Game Changers was also all returnees. Uh, Millennials and Gen X, we got some potentials here for sure. Uh, David Wright, I know he's played again, but um, I know he might not be able to come back because he writes for Star Trek now for CBS, so he might not. Uh, apparently, he's not allowed to come back. Um, but you have Jay Starrett, uh, Michaela, maybe Zeke Smith. Um, what are you guys thinking for Millennials and Gen X? I'd love to see Jay back as a villain in like another Heroes vs. Villains season. I think he'd be a good villain, a good second chance candidate. Mm-hmm. But Legends, I, I don't think there's any on this cast. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Um, heroes, heroes, Healers, and Hustlers. Um, you got Chrissy Hoffbeck, maybe Devin Pinto. Um you got uh, Dr. Mike. Um, obviously, Ben was the winner this season, but uh, what are you guys thinking for for this season? People I'd like to play. I, you know, it's tough. We're getting into the category where it's tough for people you've only seen once to call them a legend. I'm right. getting into the category of people I would like to see play again. Chrissy, I think, should have won that season. I could maybe see her coming back as a surprise pick. Uh, Devin, I think, played a very underrated game. So those are the two I'd really like to see play again. But would CBS consider them legends? I don't know if you can. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I don't think uh, it's it's weird because the the closer we get to the more recent seasons, the less you think of them as legendary status. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, with Coast Islands, I mean, I know Michael Yerger might be cool to come back. I don't know if this is quite the season, uh, but Dom might be the, the standout that could qualify as a, as a more modern day legend. What do you guys think about Dom? I think it would be Dom or nobody. I think Dom's a lock to come back eventually. Like he'd be a great villain in a Heroes vs. Villains, but sort of like Russell just said, is can you consider him a legend? I mean, I guess he almost won. He tied, I, but no, I, I, I think we have enough guys, 10 guys before him. Yeah. I don't think that Dom would be considered a legend. Uh, mm-hmm. He's definitely a second chancer. You have to okay. almost play twice, I think, to be considered a legend, unless you've won. If you play like Tony did his first season. I was going to say, unless you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And David and Goliath, I mean, you got Mike, Carl, Davey, people, guys, people I know want to see back. The only one I could maybe see as being a modern-day legend um, is uh, maybe Christian Hubicki, um, if anything, just for his character. Um, any of those guys, you think? Uh, I mean, yeah, Christian and Davey, great guys I'd like to see play again. Angela, I think, would be a great villain in a, in a Heroes vs. Villains too, but – no, no legends in this. I, I could see them considering Christian a legend as like the greatest underdog they've had, but I think probably no. Yeah, it's going to get harder and harder for me 
to come up with a legend now. Uh, it's just weird how that goes because I didn't know that that was going to happen until we actually got into the later seasons and slot them like, uh, yeah, no. Right. Yeah. With Edge of Extinction, I mean, the only name I think is popping out is uh, Rick Devins. Um, any chance he might come back for a season like this? And Jeff and CBS cream themselves over Devin, so I, I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, but yeah, same thing. Like played once, didn't win. But I, I, I would be, a, I wouldn't be like super upset with it. If that happened. oh no, I'd yeah. like to see him play again. And he had a, a legendary first performance. It's again, it's it's again how we're defining legends. If we're sticking with the most legendary players ever, I don't think he's done enough. But I'd love to see him come back on some type of returning season. Mm -hmm. um, and then should we even uh, touch on uh, Island of the Idols? No. Yeah. Okay. So those are all the seasons. I know we had a lot of maybes. If there was uh, two females, it seemed like kind of fit the last spot um, between like Andrea and Aubrey. If you guys had to pick one of those two, you think would maybe fit this spot better? I'd pick Andrea over Aubrey, personally. I'd pick Aubrey and then Kelly. Well, I'd put Kelly over both of them. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then for the guys, it seemed like the locks were Russell, Phillip, Malcolm, and Spencer. Phillip. Um, the field the That's what it seemed like you guys were, were leaning toward uh, Phillip. I said Phillip. Oh, yeah. I just didn't think he'd be likely to come no. back. But uh, um, yeah, I'm okay with him. Yeah, for the last guy spot, um, if you had to choose between Keith, if if you were CBS, if you had to choose between Keith, Christian Hubicki, Dom, and uh, Rick Devins, who do you think you would uh, you would pick? They're giving it to Devins, I think. I don't know. Or Christian. Man. Or Christian. Ugh. You would take either of them over Dom. I would like to see Dom out of all four. If it's me, yeah, but I, I, me too. I would like to see Dom over all of them. Right, but if we're if we're casting a CBS, I could see them because Christian is the lovable underdog, nerdy guy, and Devin's they just loved because of his advantages, newscaster, charismatic. I think they would probably go Devin's. If 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 I would go Dominic, I think they would go Devin's. Okay. Um, all right, so we have our, our new school tribe. Between our old school, we had just a couple females. We had Jenna, Jerry, and Stephanie. Or Sorry, the locks seem to be Jerry, Stephanie, and Sari, um, and Amanda. Um, between Courtney, Corinne, and Jenna Lewis. If you had to pick one between those three, who do you think is most likely? Courtney, Corinne, and Jenna Lewis. I feel like Russell is, is going to say Jenna. No, likely, would, yeah. out of those, I would have to say Courtney because she's just more of a her personality and more fun for the season. Yeah, I'd probably vote her on like personal preference. I mean, I would. I only said Jenna because I think they wanted they want to go old old school, right? And they but, could say you know from season one through season thirty, whatever. Right. We have all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then uh, the guys for old school, it seemed like Rob and James were kind of the two locks, uh, maybe coach as well. Um, so then if you had to pick two guys between Colby, I know these are these are big names, so we got Colby, Fairplay, Rupert, and Ozzy. If you had to pick two of those, Colby, Fairplay, Rupert, and Ozzy. Can I put Lex in there? And Lex, I'm sorry, Lex as well. I'm gonna go Lex and Fair Play. Yep, Lex and Fair Play. That's what I would go. Lex and Fair Play. But I could see people wanting Ozzy. But again, I've seen enough of Ozzy. Okay. All right. So let me see if I can share my screen for the uh, list that we came up with. Here. Finale. This is it, guys. CBS is gonna see this list and be like, "That's it." Let's make it happen. Let's make right. it happen. Can you see the can you see the screen? Yeah. That is you need to post we zoom that. in a little more. Hey, uh 
Adam, post that, and then I'll mm. retweet it because that's the list right there. That is the cast. That yep. let's see. I'm I'm looking at this cast right now. Get excited just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you got uh Amanda, Coach, Sari, Courtney, James, Stephanie, Rob, Lex, Johnny, and Jerry for old school. <coughs> and for new school, you got Abby, Maria, Andrea, uh, Sierra, who voted out her mom, Cass, Kelly, Spencer, Russell, Rick, Philip, and Malcolm Freeberg. I, I'm or I'm looking at the guys. I'm going to take that list. I'm going to write down the names and be like, okay. This is the cast. Who can I work with? Who can I work with? What's going on here? That this helps. Who do me you out. think, Russell? Pick three people from that cast. You think you'd most you'd want to and would be most likely to work with in an alliance? Let me see it. Pop it up again. My alliance would be Johnny Fairplay. Oh, he's he'd be on the old school trial. Oh, I need my oh, I got Philip. He's my boy. I'm my brother from another mother. I got uh I think Cass is gonna come for me. Sierra may come for me. I'm gonna probably go with uh Rick Devins. Uh I can't go with any girls, just can't do it because I if I did <laughs> Then I'm in trouble because you know they always uh, Russell does that all the time. And Spencer, Spencer Bledsoe, Philip, Devin, and Spencer. We're going to the end. Give me a call. I like it. <laughs> Still for us, part three. <laughs> right. He can so, name. Okay. Me he wants to name me. <laughs> all right. Well, that was fun. Um, we have don't a forget to save me a spot because once I get on my season <laughs> and I win it, they'll have me <laughs> for a legend season too. And then we have to act like we don't know each other, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> Hope nobody's seen this. Nobody's seen. Nobody's seen this. So okay, cool. Well, this was uh, fun. You guys have anything else you want to add or let everyone know if you're working on anything, or should we well, end it there? That's all I got. Yeah. No. Just uh, if you haven't heard of Barstool, go check it out. <laughs> yeah. Check out Barstool. I was watching some videos just the other day, man. Yeah, you know, those. They, I like to watch the interview videos when you when they interview you you, you for the first time and some of you guys. Oh yeah, the intern interviews. The guy yeah, that went in there uh, quoted some office stuff on his resume. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw yeah, that. I like that guy. <laughs> awesome, cool. Well, that's the cast. Uh, us three are going to meet with Jeff tomorrow to pitch him that cast. So we'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, cool. Thanks All for right. watching. Enjoy. All right, guys. Appreciate you.